Hello viewers, here is a heat wave heater. This is uh, kind of like a emergency service, if you will, on this thing. This is the heater I use in the bathroom. I use it every day when I take a shower and now that it's getting cold out, sometimes I'll use it in the morning as I prepare to go to work, you know, when it's real cold in the mornings. Um, so it gets used at least half an hour a day usually, sometimes more. As you can see, the filter needs to be cleaned, so it was getting about time to service this anyways. Uh, but when I turned it up yesterday, or turned it on rather, the bearings sounded like they had rocks in them. So, let's see if we can replicate the problem. Yep, you can hear it. Sure, I can hear it. Hopefully you can hear it too. Well, there's definitely something wrong there. It otherwise is still working, but bearings need some help. So, let's get in there and help them. This I will go ahead and wash. <laughs> you can see how how dirty that is. Uh, which is really great though because now I mean yes there is some dust in here that should be cleaned out but you can still see through the element. It's not blocked up with dust. Um, which is really great. So um, if I recall correctly these take quite a few screws to get open. And we've got two screws on the on each side here. And we got two screws on the opposing side. And let's see here. That should lift this out like this. So this could be cleaned as well. A little dusty in there. Alright, uh, we have an unwelcomed visitor up at the top. And in order to get to the fan, we're going to have to remove the uh, front case here. And then I believe we can undo these four screws here to kind of split the assembly apart if you will okay that kind of came off which I didn't really want it to but whatever Alright, here's the fan, which is where the problem is. I think if these bolts are going to have to come out of there. Hmm. They seem a little stiff, but not that much. Well, let's begin by removing the blade so we can get to the front of the bearing. smaller screwdriver here and I'm just gonna kind of gently pry this up got washers in there okay and now this should just come off. Of course, it's not going to be quite that easy. All 
I cannot get this blade off through any conventional means. So I'm going to use a relatively criticized unconventional means. And that is going to be to take a small drill bit. This drill bit is about about half the size of the shaft. I'd like one a little bit smaller, but this is the smallest one that I have right now. And I'm going to drill into the center of the shaft. And what this is going to do is it's going to heat up the shaft. And hopefully that will be enough to break it loose. And I can pull the blade off. Now this um, this is a good trick to use for dealing with something that's been on there for a long time, like a condenser blade and stuff like that. I don't know how well it's going to work on a small plastic blade like this, but I have no other options at this point. I'm out of ideas. off. So that's uh, a little trick that I know. It's not great because it jacks up the shaft, but it's never failed me. So now that we're inside this thing, let's see what the problem is. We can add oil uh, on the back without taking it off, but I do want to vacuum this dust out of here while we're in the thing. So I'm going to remove this rear guard here. This should drop the motor. Okay. So now we have access to everything in here. And does this run through there? That's kind of annoying. Oh no, actually it doesn't. It's just an illusion. Okay, so let's get some oil into this thing. Doesn't seem like it's having that big of a problem, but clearly it is. Alright, let me see if I can get this to power on just the fan. There's this little motor here, and let's see if it sounds any better now that it's got oil in it. it seems to not be working. What happened? 
Oh, you know what? I think it's got a, a, a tip over switch in it. Hopefully that's enough to let it run. Yeah, that sounds better. Yeah, at some point these motors they just need new bearings. They're not uh, they're not exactly made with a lot of quality. But this thing has run an awful long time, so I, I can't complain. Okay. Let it run for a couple of seconds here. I'll get the vacuum out and clean it up and then uh, put it back together. Now you never want to run a motor like this without the blade on for more than you know a minute or two because they'll get hot. It'll get real hot real quick. But I can hardly even hear it anymore, so I think it's uh I think it's pretty happy at this point. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off now. All right, we'll do some cleaning now. I'm not going to go crazy over it, but we want to get the dust out of there, bulk of it anyways, while we're in here. This wasn't coming clean with the vacuum, so I had to wash it with water. It actually looks like it's still kind of a little bit dirty, but yeah, the bathroom is wet and so the dust just sticks to everything uncontrollably. Well, anyways, um, let's put it back together now. And since I we now know there's plenty of oil in the bearings, if it's still noisy, then the motor has just surpassed its useful life and will have to get replaced at some point. Uh, but hopefully this will get me through another couple of months at least before I have to take it apart again. Because this is not exactly a... It's not the worst heater I've ever worked with, but it's not... Not the easiest either. Especially getting that blade off. That was awful. And of course this thing has a million different screws and washers and everything so that doesn't doesn't make the assembly any easier. Okay, now I'll put the blade back on. 
just to never get it off again. I'll just uh, fast forward to this part. Okay, so it's spinning much better than it was before. So hopefully this will solve the problem. Those bearings seem pretty happy now. Alright, so this we have these washers have to go on here and then this goes over this and this is the really fun part these screws and their perspective washers have to get slipped in here and screwed in and everything has to align which that one actually did relatively easily Sometimes it happens as the washers move around and block the hole, which is what happened in this one. Actually, that wasn't too terribly bad either. I guess it just seems worse than it actually is. Now, where did this come from? Uh, I see where this came from. This should probably have a um, one of those plastic crimp things on there instead but that's fine it's not going to come off unless I'm manipulating the inside of it here we go at the fun begin I knew this was going too easily I want to have some ice cream. I'm hungry. Okay. This goes back on here, like that, and this is the assembly complete. Do not like that this wire nut came off of there, that's very unsettling. I think it's okay now, it must have just been loose or something. Okay, so it's on uh, fans. Now I'll plug it up and make sure that it doesn't sound bad. That sounded much better than it did before. Yep, that's working good. That sounds like it's supposed to. Okay, so now I think we can put this back in here and Take a warm shower after this. After I eat my ice cream, that is. Oh, it's Then come off there again. Ah, oh, it did. I don't quite understand how you're supposed to be able to. You know what? The drill doesn't stay on at all. Yeah, I think there's something wrong with that. Huh? Well, that's fine. It'll just sit in there. I don't care.
I don't think it'll be an issue. It hasn't been an issue before. Oh dear, that one's stripped out. That's not good. You know, what I could do is just put a bolt in there and uh, that would fix the problem, but I'm not concerned about it really. It's plenty sturdy, even with just the three screws. Alright, let's give it a final test. I'll put the filter in after this so we can still see the spin down times. That's pretty good, no bearing noise. Low heat, it's getting hot. And high heat, it's getting hotter. Yep, that's working. Let it cool off. Look at the spin down time. That's certainly satisfactory. So all that's left to do is put the filter in. It's not 100% dry, but it'll dry not long after I turn the thing on. Put that back in there. And this is now ready to go back in service.